Hi everybody and welcome to True Once, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's that red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up, and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make, please take a second to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase, and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge platform. So I'm thanking everyone in advance for that thumbs up. Okay, guys, it's a little bit later in the day. The voice is a little bit deeper, but I wanted to be able to film this second box. So if you haven't seen the first one, I will try to have it linked in the description box down below. But if not, you simply go to videos and you will be able to see all of the videos that I have just recently posted. So as I mentioned, I do get two premium boxes on my channel. And um, with the premium box, it, the, these, these are all paid for boxes. I always... <sighs> I'm hesitant to, to keep going with this second premium. However, with that said, the reason being, and I've shared this in so many of my videos already, is when I started with the premium, there was a wait list and I had two accounts. One was I had a base on it and the other one during the Lux months transferred to a Lux. That's why I started the second account. And I kept it going because right after that, BoxyCharm, I've been with them like really from the get-go. Right after that, the... Um, they, they started doing choice and there were two choices and the two choices for me always more than paid for the box. However, with premium, there's not as many variations of products as they have in the base. So for me, I know that the two accounts don't talk to each other. There's possible of duplication. I take that understanding when I do it. So if I'm able to get two different choice items, like I said, it always more than pays for the box. However, this month, the choices were ones that for me, I really was on the fence about. So because I was on a wait list and I got off the wait list first on one and then it took a little while for the second one to go out, both of my accounts have been active on premium from the start. So I don't want to cancel or, or do any of that on one of them because I don't want to get even more duplication because then my account will be considered a new account. So I wanted to keep all that going and that's what's keeping me right now holding on to both premium boxes. With that said, I have a channel. So if I have too much duplication or it's a palette or things like that, I have areas that I can give or, or share and things like that with those extra products. Some of them are products that I would already have liked to have a duplicate of, but that's what I'm trying to say, that if I didn't have a channel, I don't know if I would do two premiums because there's not enough variation. With that said, I did get something in here there is a little bit of duplication, but what I was saw that there was a possibility to be in the box is the first item that's in here. So I'm really, really excited. If you're not familiar, what I do on my channel is I open up everything prior to for my Instagram and I set everything up for a picture there. My name on Instagram is True Once with the number two. And I really hope that you guys continue to follow me there as well. We're almost at 6,000 there. We just hit 4,000 here. My anniversary, my three-year anniversary is coming up at the end of July. So we have a lot to celebrate and things like that. So for our celebrations that I'm able to share with you guys, you need to be uh, following me here and your account needs to be public. So make sure the, all that information is down there as well as to, to make your account public and also to uh, follow me on Instagram because that's where we can send each other direct messages and share private information that nobody else sees. So I wanna make sure that everyone has an opportunity to set themselves up for that. And if you're not following me yet there, then now you know it's a good time to do that before we start doing all of those fantastic giveaways. All right, so here we go. So starting with, this is like I said, my second box. And the first item in here that is on the card is one that I am be over the moon about. This is from this brand called The Rack. And this is the Pro Palette. It is the artist edition and it's called Meraki. And this is said that from the time The Rack was founded in 1995, the brand has approached makeup artistry with the concept of Meraki in mind, doing things with soul, creativity, love, and devotion. They're saying the first ever artist edition palette was curated with a selection of 25 of Lorac's most loved shades. 
by the artists around the world. 25 shades from the neutral browns to that glycerin golds and soft mauves that blend effortlessly and the uh, and the lid and last without creasing. This is a $45 value on its own. And like I said, this is a product and a brand that I really, really love. And it was one that was that I always invested in prior to it being in boxes. And just so you know, a little uh, inside information, Lorac is the name of the owner's name, Carol, spelled backwards. So if you didn't know that, that's a little bit of information there. And then this is what the gorgeous shades are inside here. I used to wait for her to come out. I, I have all her unzip palettes, all those little guys, and then she would come out with these huge, huge pro palettes, and they would sell out so quickly. And I would always have it on my watch list that when I was visiting in the United States to go into a Sephora and places like that to pick them up. And it was always keeping my fingers crossed that they would be available. And I've been able to put into my collection a lot from her brand. So this one is one that I'm not familiar with. So I don't know if this is a newer brand, a newer one, but this is a lot smaller than her other pro palettes. And this one here has a full mirror on the inside here. It has the names on this card that is above here. They're not on the actual products, but that is something that I wanted to share with you guys. And these are all the shades that are in here. So I didn't know the thought behind all this. So that is really exciting that the shades that everyone has always been using and enjoying in her other palettes is what she meshed into this one. So that I'm really, really excited about. So I'm gonna have to play with this. Just so you know, with Lorac uh, eyeshadow palettes, I found for me, there is a lot, a lot of fallout. And so what you have to do is when you're using it, make sure, as I share with you all the time, I do my makeup over a sink area, standing up with a mirror that has two sides to it. And then I do all my tapping over the sink and then I wash down my sink. If you don't and you're using it on an area, make sure to put a towel down because I was really surprised the first time that I used Lorac uh, eyeshadow palettes because so many people were talking so highly of it that there was so much fallout but it is because the color payoff is a hundred percent there so if you tap your brush off you will not have the fallout on your face there's just a lot that becomes in the pan so you just have to make sure to blow on it make sure that it doesn't mix with the other colors but it is definitely worthwhile because like I said Lorac is a brand that I, I my eyeshadows always stayed on all all day Okay, the next item here is one that I shared with you in the first box. This is from Patrick Ta. This is the one that everybody who gets a premium from what I saw on Instagram is going to be getting it. This is the Major Volume Mascara. As I shared with you, I tested it on my eyes today and I have some thoughts on this, but this is the one that's still in the carton here. So I pulled the one from the first box that I used. And this one says that this has the Intensity Black Ultra Dramatic Mascara. It is a custom double cut brush that combs through and loads your lashes for the ultimate volume lift and definition. This is a $29 value, and this is a new brand to Boxy. But if you're an Ipsy girl like I am, this was a brand that the first Glam X was him, and I fell in love with him. And ever since then, anything that he comes out with, I do my best to either put it on my wants list, or I'm able to get it at great prices through Ipsy. I'm loving his blushes. I've had my eye on his eyeshadow palettes, but they're really up there in price, so I'm hoping that at one point I'll have a takeover box and maybe we'll get lucky and get that palette. So this one here is the brush. It doesn't look so unique, but I, you know, don't have this under a, a magnifying glass where it says, you know, that there's these double bristles and it's a custom brush and things like that. I prefer brush uh, applicators. I just feel they also give length and they also give volume all in one. So for me, that has been a win. But what I did share in the first video is that with this one, it goes on a little wet. So for me, I like when it's in between that not too dry, not too wet, and it's easier when it starts as a wet mascara. When it ages, it becomes the most perfect mascara. So for me right now, like I said, I love this mascara. I think it's gonna be, and I'm, I'm like, what did I say in the first video? I think I said, I love this mascara, but I'm not in love with it. So I think I will become in love with it because I loved how my lashes looked but I did have a transfer. And then uh, after about an hour, uh, I felt my eyes and I still was able to see uh, some of the black uh, come off on my fingertip in the, you know, the eyelash strokes. So that is how I know that it's still a wet mascara. So I'm excited to play with this more. This is something I probably would have definitely grabbed in a smaller version to test it because I love testing new mascaras, but that was my, my initial thoughts on this mascara. 
The next item here is from um, Dominique Cosmetics, and this is a brand that I absolutely love, and I enjoy her also as an influencer. She was one of the earliest ones who uh, got into a good relationship with Ipsy early on, and uh, I've shared her story a million times because I really, really enjoy her products, but I really feel when she decided to come out with her own line, she really made it attainable, but luxury all at the same time. So this is the box that it came in. I had the choice and I chose one color in this box and the other color, I already, I actually have it out here so I can swatch both for you. I chose that one in the peach and in this box, I chose the soft pink. And I also pulled out the Natasha Denona to see if, because a lot of us got that also. So if you didn't get this or you don't get premium to see if the one, if the Natasha Denona one you own, if that color looks similar to this or not. So this is a silk tone cream blush. It is, like I said, the shade I chose here in my choice was soft pink. It says, give your cheeks and your lips a pinch of color. It is irresistibly silky. This is a lightweight buildable cream blush formula that blends into your skin seamlessly and lasts all day long. The bonus, it contains hyaluronic acid and this is a $22 value. Do you see the packaging on this? It is beyond, it is so, so beautiful. And on the corner here in beautiful handwriting, it says cream blush. And when you open it up, it says soft yet piece, uh, soft yet powerful on the inside and then this is what this looks like here I'm trying to cover up the mirror and like I said I'm going to swatch this one I'm going to swatch and open up the Natasha Denona right beside it so that we can see the two color differences and then we'll see if they look any different on uh, my hand here so this is the one from Dominique Cosmetics and that is what it looks like there I'm going to use my second finger here to do the one from uh, Natasha Denona to see if that one is similar or not. The Natasha Denona one feels like it has more grip, grip to it. And the Natasha Denona one is the one up above here. And this is the one that is uh, from Dominique Cosmetics, Dominique Cosmetics. And this is the one that is from Natasha Denona. So there's enough of a difference. What The Natasha Denona one has more of a peachy pink where the uh, one from Dominique Cosmetics, to my eye, is more of a cooler pink. So really happy now that I have both. And let me just wipe my hands a little bit and I'm going to take the other one that is in the soft peach that we opened up in the first box and then just do that right beside so that you'll be able to see if you know, you're looking at these colors. I'm gonna use my third finger so that we don't have any crossover here and I'll do it right beside it on the side here. So there we have the soft peach is the first one. The second one is the one that we got in this box, which is the soft pink. And then the top one is the one from uh, Natasha Denona that is in her Cupid uh, palette. All right, so those are the three that are there. All right, so that goes back there. All right, so next item that we have here was another choice item, and this is gonna be a replenishment to my stash. So this one is still sealed and in here, and I pulled the one that I'm currently using a lot from this brand. This is Glow Recipe. This is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. This is a concentrated formula. It is the on-the-go serum to plump, radiate your skin. It is a silky water gel serum that features a unique blend of three types of plum. It has hyaluronic acid, a vegan collagen, and the formula contains five weights of hyaluronic acid to target different layers of the skin and for deep hydration. This alone is a $42 value. So this more than paid for the box. But as you know, we get some fantastic deals and I did buy the edit. I got tracking right away, the edit from Ipsy. They had a box that was I think $34, $35. Early, I, I did it on the first day of the month. My tracking came down really quick, but it hasn't moved since. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we're still gonna get it because I know it ended up selling out really, really early. When you see this one and it's running almost like a water, this is fantastic because that means that it is thin enough that it will penetrate deep, like they mentioned in the description that we just read, into your skin. So it will go down through the layers of your skin. So I always share with you guys that if you're new to skincare, it's always important that you do thinnest consistency to the thickest. Also give it time to penetrate. So don't layer it on top of each other. 
put it on, wait for your skin to feel like it is no longer on it, and then go on to your next step. So always thinnest consistency to thickest. So that is the plum. And this is what I used uh, on my skin this morning. And then in the other box that I had, I used the uh, Kors Santorini uh, Poreless as my primer. And uh, I'm using, like I said, a, a lightweight type of serum from Yensa uh, that I wanted to try today with the It Cosmetics uh, Celebration uh, Powdered Foundation over it. And I'm loving uh, how my skin looked and felt uh, when I looked at myself at the, you know, in the early morning. So I haven't had a chance to do a, 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 a sneak peek at my face to see if everything's okay. But at the end of the day, when I take my makeup off is usually when I make my judgment call. The next one in here is a duplicate from the other box. And this is from this brand called Sandbar. And as I shared with you in the previous uh, video, it, this is one that I used underneath my eyeshadow that I had on that day, which was the from the Cupid Natasha Denona palette is what I have on my eyes. This is the Sandbar Beauty Shadow Light Eyeshadow Primer. This is a sheer and creamy intensifying eyeshadow base that adds staying power and full pigment richness to your eyeshadows, resulting in a high definition crease defining color and long lasting wear. This is a $28 value and it's a new brand to Boxy. But if you are part of Ipsy, I know that I had uh, a choice and I ended up choosing their eyeshadow palette, which I enjoyed as well. When I used this on my eyes uh, that uh, earlier today, as I shared with you in the other video, uh, let me see if I can do it on this hand. It goes on like, a, it, it really, when I put it up to the camera the first time, I was really surprised how beautiful it looked on here. My initial, without seeing it when I'm doing it here on this, is it went on the lids, but it stayed uh, very much like a lotion on the eyes. So when I tried to tap it in, it was still moving around. You have to give it a little bit more time, I think, to set, which I didn't do this morning, so I'm excited that I'll have the opportunity because when I placed uh, this on my hand earlier in the other video, when I went to swatch the eyeshadow palette, there was a huge difference in how the eyeshadow directly on my hand looked and over this eyeshadow base. So my thoughts on this initially were, I wasn't in love with it because it, I'm not used to it being so lotionally. And it also didn't have that tint. But when I put it on my hand earlier, and then I tested it on my other hand to see something else, it definitely did penetrate in. I think I didn't give it enough time and it definitely left my skin feeling softer and my lids felt softer. So excited about this. We'll definitely be playing with this more. That's why it's fun, you know, to give an initial feedback, you know, by testing it. But the more you play with something, the more you can adjust yourself to how the formula is and how it can best work for you. Because my eyelids are oily because I'm a combo girl. I will definitely be checking my eyes uh, at the end of the day and see how my eyeshadow stayed. But I did use this with the Natasha Denona Cupid Palette uh, shadows that I have on my eyes now. The next item was one that I was hoping if I was gonna get a duplicate, I was gonna get it in this box. And you'll see why in a second. So this is what this one is here. It's called the Shadow Moon. It's a reusable shadow shield, no S. There's only one in here. They're saying this is a silicone reusable shadow shield for fast and flawless eye makeup application. They're saying it catches eyeshadow fallout and creates a straight edge for your eyeshadow and winged eyeliner for that perfect application. It also can double as an under eye eye cooler to help soothe puffy morning eyes. Cool in the fridge or the freezer to depuff your under eye area. It's designed with a grip so the adhesive is not needed. This here is a $15 value and it is, it is a new brand to Boxy. So when I opened it up, only because it simply said that it can help with depuffing. I don't know about you, but I don't have one eye that puffs and one eye that doesn't. So when there was only one in here, and this is really thick, uh, I wanted to uh, have a second one. So that's probably what I'm going to use this for is that to help keep this in the freezer and use it as some depuffing to help in the morning. So that is what I think I'm going to be using this for. I uh, do my face makeup first, I share with it all the time, and then at the end, I'll end up doing my eyeshadow after, simply because <laughs> I'm the type of girl that my full face, I want to get on, and if I don't have time for eyeshadow, I will use my bronzer and my blush and put those in my creases and my mascara, and I'm out the door. 
if I have time for an eyeshadow look, that's when. That's why I always do my face uh, first. So it's important for me to make sure if an eyeshadow palette has a lot of fallout that I get it off there. And then I really rarely have anything underneath. And if I do, I have a fantastic brush that I've shared with you that I got off Ipsy that has a light bristle to it. So I'm able to lightly just sweep it off and I've never had the problem like that. So I have never used eyeshadow shields but I know a lot of makeup artists do. So for me, I'm gonna be using this to depuff. So now I'm happy I have a second one so that I'll be able to have them on both eyes at the same time. So sometimes it works out when you get a duplicate in the box because it's an item that there was only one of a two shields, what I think you needed two shields for. So excited about that. But if you've had the opportunity to use this and if you use this to help with your shadow shields, please share that with me as well. They also mentioned you can help get your lines exactly where you want them that say that you can use these type of products for that as well. And that's everything that I got in my second box. So I think I did absolutely great. So we got the Lorac palette, which I'm beyond overexcited to play with. Everyone is gonna be getting the mascara from Patrick Ta. My choice item is in a different shade, so excited about that. And we had the opportunity to swatch everything, which is good. I'll have the replenishment of a $42 serum, which more than paid for the box something that I'm now in love with. Uh, so I'm really excited now that I have a second one of this and I definitely needed a second shield. So for me, this box was an absolute win as well. And that's it. So take care, everybody. Continue to stay safe and well, and I'll see you all again soon in my next video. Bye for now.